Hello and welcome. My name is Guillaume Lloret and I'm the Innovation Manager here in MESPAC. Today we are really proud to present you what we call our MESPAC Athena. What is MESPAC Athena? It's our take on digitalization, also known as the Industry 4.0 or the Industrial Internet of Things. How we have approached that? We have created a unique software that is made of two different pieces. On the operator side, we have an HMI, which would be this one, which is really new. And we have the, on the data side or analytics side, we've made a service web-based that can give us a lot of insights and a lot of information from everything that we can grab from the machine. How, how we have organized that? We have three different levels of, of Athena. Athena Zero that will come with all of our machines that would include this new HMI and a little dashboard and analyzing data on this screen itself. We have Athena One that already has all the new services of the industrial Internet of Things. What we do is offer two different levels. One for single machine, more local, which would be the on-prem with a PC that stores the data. And another one for those who want more connectivity that would be stored on the cloud, where we would access everywhere from a phone or any device that would have internet. And also we would be adding some systems like uh, SMSs or, or email sending. Finally, we have the Athena 2, that is the Athena 1 plus the CFR21 Part 11, so the LED trail on the HMI, and the energy meters for the electrical and pneumatical consumption that would be on the machine and putting all that data on the Internet of Things. So, let's start with our new HMI. As you can see, we've gone fully dark mode and we just pop with lighter colors the things that we really want to be seen. We are complying with ISA 101, so in means of visual comfort and also navigation, we are complying with the regulation. What we've did is put a really big effort on focus on the user experience and the user interface. So we even hired the company that are experts on that and they have helped us a lot on developing this application, making it that we comply with the ISA 101. So we are proud to say that we can access any point on the screen and any parameter required with three clicks or less. So to make it easy to use, the first thing that, that we did is make a home screen. So for each one of the modes that are available on the machine, which are five, we have a home screen with the most relevant parameters and the most relevant information that the user may need when he's operating on that mode. In this screen, you can see the home parameters and the home screen for the production mode. In this case, you could see how we pop with red color, which is something that means alarm, if we have any alarm or any reject on the machine. Also, in the yellow color, which has less importance, we are showing a warning. Another example would be the home for the jog or the maintenance mode. We have removed completely the performance meter, so the OE or the reject ratio, and we have introduced a new fast access for changing parameters. Same for the CIP mode. For the CIP mode, we can just access this screen and we can see how the CIP is performing. We can see in which step we are and start and stop the system. What we've also done is integrate the screen manual on the screen itself. So for each action that can be done, you can click on the name and a little blue box will appear, which is a tooltip that will explain a little bit in more depth what's happening if you push or not that button. Finally, in regards of the alarms, we've also added an extended explanation to help the operator solve them. So if you would click on the right arrow, this type of pop-up would appear, giving a description of that alarm and also two or three possible solutions to solve them. The second part of our MESPAC Athena is the IoT side. What we've created is a web-based platform that you can access in means of colors and you'll see that it's really, really similar or almost equal to our HMI application. We wanted to continue with the same look and feel that, that you would feel that it's the same platform and there are no frictions in between the HMI and the IoT. In this case, we are connected uh, using an internet connection, just Wi-Fi. So we've typed the address and now we can just sign in put, putting the username and password.
There are different types of users, so depending on which type of user, if it's a normal user, production, maintenance, or administrator, they would have different rights and they can access different type of data on the application. This would be the home screen that we could see here at MESPAC. So each blue cycle would represent a factory, and in each factory we would have several machines. So if we would click there, we can access this production plan, this factory. In this case, we just have one machine that is connected here in the MESPAC headquarters, and we could see the most relevant data for that machine in particular. On the top left corner, we could see an icon showing if the machine is running, stopped, or, or paused. We could have a big display showing the OE of the machine, which would change colors depending on the set target. And on the right side, we would see the rejected ratio and also the stop time ratio. So, Ideally, those, everything would be fully green, 100% of runtime and 100% of accepted pouches. This bar would turn red depending on if we have more stop time or more reject ratio. Once we click on the machine, we would expand the information that it's giving us. So on the top, we would see each model of the machine. So this would be tailor-made for each machine that would be connected. And this line would mean that this model is in an alarm or it's in normal condition. If it's in an alarm, it would be red. If it's in normal condition, it would be green. If we scroll down, we can access some graphics representing the OE. So this would be the total OE, and these are the three parameters that multiplied create the OE, which are availability, performance, and quality. On the right side, there is a part regarding maintenance that it's under construction. It will not be available on the MVP, but the idea is that uh, we would have the planned maintenance here, so it will be sending warnings to the operators or the production people, maintenance people, so they are aware that that day, at that hour, that maintenance should be done. Also, in the down part, we could see the energy meters, the actual status. They would change color depending on if they are above or below the target. And uh, some statistics regarding the top reject reasons happening in the machine, the top three reject reasons, the top three alarms, and it would be shown in the number of units rejected and the percentage versus the total, and the amount of times that the alarm happened and the percentage versus total. To show you better all this information, as this machine is stopped and it's not running now and data it's, it's not showing pretty graphics, I, I will be showing you in another platform. So, Regarding the OE, as you can see, we have three graphics here. They are self-explanatory. So the availability would be ideally 100%. It would be a full green line. Each time that the machine stops, it will create a vertical red line. And depending on the stop time, this line would be thicker or thinner. Regarding performance, we will have a white horizontal line showing the design speed. And in blue, the actual speed that we are calculating. So we can see a trend over time of how the machine has been behaving in means of speed. And last but not least, the quality, which would be a ratio between the good and bad pouches. So we expect here that will be almost 100% full. Which other dashboards we have available? The alarms that will be showing active alarms will make top five alarms by duration or by frequency. And also we'll have a uh, history of alarms that can be downloaded to an Excel spreadsheet and analyzed later on another type of program if needed. Regarding reject reasons, we will see all the reasons that can reject the pouch on the machine and we can break it into each one of the pouches. Machine state, it's a better understanding of the time that has happened on the machine. So the running time, the stop time, and then the breakage on the 17 stage of PACML. Energy meters we will show a trend over time, and uh, here a clock showing the actual value. Raw materials, all the materials that has, have been used by the machine, for example, meters of film or zipper, amount of caps. And on maintenance, all the preventive maintenance, planned stoppages in regards of number of activations of, or frequency of activations. All this is connected to a warning system that will be warning the operator by sending a message on the HMI. And also, if you are on the cloud version, it will be sending uh, SMSs or emails if needed. All this information shown can be filtered by time 
either today information, week information, month, year, or a custom time. So this has been our presentation on the Mes Pagacina. I hope that you really liked it and I'm sure that you would have doubts. Please come to us, ask us. We will be there to serve you and get you all the answers that you are seeking. Thank you very much and have a nice day.